Dr. Michael Rhodes, leading authority in the investigation of psychic phenomena and the world of ESP. in a field, then running. I came to a highway. I ran for a long time. Then people gave me rides. I can't remember who I am or where I'd been. So someone brought me here. Can you remember anything before you were in the field? No. No details? A certain place? A certain person? I can't even remember my name. They tell me that when you were brought in, you talked about a dream. I remember something like a dream, but it was a strange dream. How was it strange? Something happened. Something terrible. I don't want to think about it. We have to start somewhere. You think the dream has something to do with losing my memory. We have to find out. You said you saw something terrible. What was it? A man being hurt, being shot. Who was he? I don't know. Did you try to stop it? I don't know. I was lying on the ground. But part of me seemed to be someplace else, watching. That couldn't be. Can you remember anything else? Who shot the man? Anything at all? No. I don't understand what's happening. Sometimes at moments of great emotional stress, or from some intense desire,
people have out-of-body experiences such as you describe. It's called astral projection. And you're saying that's what happened to me? I don't know. Dr. Noble, who's been taking care of you, thinks that may be possible. He called me. But why can't I remember? An accident of some kind, a blow on the head, a psychic trauma during the experience or just before. Any of these could be the cause of your amnesia. Can you help me? I can help you if you want me to. I saw a man shot. What can I do? If this happened, as you say, then we know you have certain psychic qualities. We're going to use them to find out who you are. How? The fact that you may have been in an astral state is the only clue we have. Now, there's nothing to be afraid of. Astral projection is merely your psyche leaving your physical body and going somewhere for a time. Would you like to try? Yes. My back. Now, I want you to look at me. Look into my eyes and think of nothing. Just let your mind go blank. There's just calmness, a quietness. That's right. That's fine. No sound. Just silence. Close your eyes. Now I'm going to help you to go astrally into the past. If we're successful, you'll remember what you see during the experience. I want you to concentrate on a very tall building. There's an elevator in the building. You're getting into that elevator. The doors are closing. It starts up. Are you concentrating on that? It's a pleasant feeling. A gentle lifting. Almost like flying as though your mind were rising out of your body. Can you feel it? Yes. The elevator will stop in a few seconds, and the door will open. Now it's slowing down. It's stopping. You're no longer rising. I want you to step out. guitar playing and a man what was he doing just a man a man with a gun everywhere I turned The road ends. 
begins just ahead. Are you sure the number on the mailbox was 44? Yes, I'm sure. Then it has to be close. It's going to be all right. You'll stay with me? Every minute. What are you talking about? She's my wife. No. I don't know him. But I've seen him. Where? In, in my dream. Now, look, she disappeared from this house almost a week ago. I've been looking everywhere for you. You're not my husband. Anna, what's happened to you? Can you prove she's your wife? Now, who are you, anyway? Dr. Rhodes. The important thing is who she is. All right. I'll show you who she is. Now she's my wife. I didn't make all them photographs, did I? 